Hi everybody. Welcome back to In Judy's Kitchen. I'm Judy Walker, the food editor of the Times Picayune and NOLA.com. And I'm Dia Chaco, the SEO and homepage producer for NOLA.com. And Judy is teaching me how to make native New Orleans dishes um, because I don't know how, but I'm learning. I'm learning. So today we're making crawfish pie. So the first thing we're gonna do is, Dia, raise your right hand. Oh no, okay. What? <laughs> Just raise your right hand. This is totally painless. Repeat after me. Okay. Idea Chaco. Idea Chaco. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To never buy Chinese crawfish. Do solemnly swear to never buy Chinese crawfish. So help me God. So help me God. Knowingly. Knowingly. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> because you should always buy Louisiana crawfish. That's fair. They do. You, there's a million reasons why. Mm -hmm. The only reason we're going to discuss today is they taste better. Okay. Okay, so this is a Marcel Bienvenue recipe. I've made it many times and Dia practiced making it, so we're it so did. excited to make it for you today. Okay, so we've got our butter melted in the skillet and first we're gonna like saute the onion. And we're gonna add chopped bell pepper and chopped celery at the same time. Dia is gonna tell you what we call this in South Louisiana. The Trinity. And why is it called the Trinity? Because it's used as a base in a lot, a lot, a lot of New Orleans dishes. In is fact, it's in everything we've cooked so far except the bread pudding. Yeah, it'd be weird if it was in the bread pudding. Well, <laughs> we haven't even talked about savory bread pudding yet. But anyway, Ooh. so we're gonna cook these vegetables until they're soft and golden. Okay, so we've really softened up the vegetables here and next we are going to add the tomatoes. So we're just diced tomatoes and some salt and some cayenne. And that's all the seasonings there are in this. Mm -hmm. Just salt and cayenne. Okay, so now we've cooked down the tomatoes a little bit and we're going to add the crawfish. And I'm The Louisiana make, crawfish. The Louisiana crawfish, right. Not Chinese. <laughs> So, um, oh, I'm just going to get this all over the place. We're going to thicken this up with a little bit of cornstarch dissolved in water. So that's what I'm mixing up here for Dia. And we're going to add it to, after that crawfish cooks a little bit, then we're going to add it to the mixture and cook it for just a couple of minutes after that until it gets nice and thick. Okay, so it's has it thickened up, Dia? It's starting to. Oh, good. Like you showed me, it's, you can see. How okay. The it doesn't is all not, run back together. Yes, running good. back together. Okay, well, we're just going to stir in the green onions and the parsley, and then we are going to turn it off and let this sit for 30 minutes. So, this is our cooled filling, and that's our pie crust. That's our pie crust. Okay, true confession, we cheat. Yeah, because why not? Well, and pie crust is another lesson. We're cooking at home. We're not in a restaurant. We are cooking at home. We're not in a restaurant. So we're going to put this in our pie shell that we have got already here. And then we're going to put it on a pan and put it in the oven at 375. Mm -hmm. Right? And Judy showed me this nice thing where you pinch the edges together and make it look all pretty. So, whereas I would have just like put the pie crust on <laughs> and just poured it on there. It'll here you go. Better. And, um, well, and you can practice, you can play around with fluting, it. it's called fluting the pie crust, and you can play with that in different ways. I'm going to get a pan to put this on. Okay. And you know I want you to get use the spatula yes, and get every little bit out of there. Because there's an extra tablespoon or two, well maybe a teaspoon. So now we're gonna stick it in the oven at 375 degrees and cook it for about 45 minutes. We're gonna set it on the second shelf. It really doesn't matter. And um, we're gonna check it at about what? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, we'll check it. Okay, it's party time. <laughs> we're gonna cut it. This looks really good. And you do let it set for a few minutes after you cook it. Oh yeah and it lets the filling set up a little more. The filling is not, you know, it's not gonna be completely Yeah, this doesn't come out like a Hard, cake. right. It's more like the kind of pie where everything sort of falls everywhere. Right. 
like a fruit pie, except fruit of the seed. <laughs> fruit of the crawfish farm. <laughs> but it's setting up pretty good, I think. Yeah. It's all that shape. Mm-hmm. Of course you can have another cup. Oh, thanks. Okay. Now the fun part. What do you think? Great. Yay! I really like it. And you will do this again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Definitely will do this again. Awesome. And we hope you will too. We hope you use Louisiana crawfish. Yeah. Even if you do use pre-made pie crust. Even if you do use pre-made pie crust, Louisiana crawfish. Yes. So thanks for stopping by. Be sure to check back in another couple of weeks for another in Judy's kitchen. Bye, Bye. now.